Brawl News. What's up guys, it's your boy Rick Arito, and today we'll be taking a look at the Brawl Talk video and some things you might have missed in detail. Without further ado, as your host Rick Arena, let's hop right into it. So guys, for the first thing I want to tackle on the bucket list, it's going to be about the four gadgets that they mentioned. Well, actually 10, but they showed four. It's going to be Colt's gadget and my speculation on what I believe it does. As you guys can see from the video, Colt shoots a really, really golden, pretty bullet. Um, it kind of slams into its two wall tiles and breaks them, which kind of makes me believe that Colt's gadget it's going to be another wall breaker, kind of like a super, but might not do damage, although I'm not entirely sure, as it never crossed anybody. Now, in terms of whether this gadget will be better than the first gadget which Colt has, which is, you know, the reload gadget, in all honesty, I feel like it might not be, but it's really hard to say because I can definitely see people using trick shots in a way, or using his gadget to do trick shots in Brawl Ball, for example, tossing the ball at a wall and then using the gadget immediately after to break the wall. So it's truly hard to say, but I would say in Heist, the reload um, gadget is probably still better and his new gadget might be better in Brawl Ball if you're a little bit of a fancy dude. For the next gadget I want to talk about, it's going to be Nita's new gadget or Nita's bear gadget really. And basically what it does is it's going to provide a shield to Nita's bear. Now I don't know how much this shield can tank, or whether the shield is invincible makes him invincible or not but regardless i'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter i'm pretty sure the first star power i mean the new gadget is way better than the la um first nita's gadget simply because nita's gadget is now hot garbage guys let's be honest ever since it got nerfed who gets stunned in a nita's bear like gadget like come on guys it's a clear winner right here all right guys so for the next gadget it's going to be a very very controversial one it's going to be max's some people speculate that um the lightning bolt dropped from him is basically giving him a speed boost but i don't believe that is the case and i'm not entirely sure first of all why would supercell give a brawler literally a speed super and a gadget super just doesn't feel very creative and doesn't seem like you know the supercell development team in a way and i'm just thinking how come max above his head there's a blue halo what does that mean? Because if we compare it to other brawlers who also have a blue halo when they use a gadget like Piper Dynamite, it means that their next attack does something a little bit different, something special. For example, Piper's is a homing missile and Dynamite stuns people. Now guys, this is a crazy speculation. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I personally believe that maybe the first time you click on his gadget, it marks a location, if that makes sense. For example, the lightning bolt where it is. And within like maybe a four second, five second duration, you can re-click on that gadget again to teleport to that initial point that you um, um, chosen. Now that might be kind of overpowered in all honesty, but hey, it kind of reminds me of another character in another game called Invalorant. If you guys know who I'm talking about, Phoenix, he has ultimate where basically he can mark the location and if he dies, he can teleport back. Now, now, in all honesty, if they actually introduce this, Max would be ridiculously OP. He can literally run it down and teleport out of there. But the good thing is, unlike um, Phoenix and Valorant, he won't be like at full health afterwards. So it might not be too broken, if that makes sense. Last but not least, we got Bowl's gadget. And it's going to be kind of like a stop type of attack. I believe it's kind of going to be a slowing animation, um, basically slowing characters down. For example, as you can see in that cult. Um, I'm not entirely sure this stomp is going to be better than the first gadget, which lets you heal health. Um, it's really hard to say, but yeah, it's just really hard to say until it comes out. But the last thing I want to talk about is actually not going to be in the Brawl Talk video itself. Um, it's going to be coming from their content creators, the biggest ones like Lex and Kairos. Um, it's going to be about the map making feature and some information about it. Alright, so I'm going to pull up a quick video or story from Lex. You're limited to five map slots, but yes, you can delete them after you've made them or no longer want them and create another one to fill that empty slot. That said, guys, as you can see from Lex's video, it kind of shows that five maps are only possible for currently. And it seems like probably in the future that they'll probably let you upload it and play with other people. But currently, right now, you can only play with your friends. But I'm super, super excited for this feature. This is literally limitless not limitless but like abundant content for content creators such as myself and overall it's just gonna be so much fun imagine if you can play like i don't know like the most popular upvoted maps by other people in the world it's just super super dope guys one last thing i completely forgot to talk about i'm sorry guys but basically phoenix crow is going to be getting a remodel in the future pretty dope 
Thanks for watching today on this video. I know it's kind of a lengthy video, but I just wanted to kind of give my opinions and what I thought about the new gadgets and the future updates. And I just had a lot of fun in all honesty. But anyways, guys, that's all for today. And as always, I'll see you soon.